Come on, fans. Gsoto98 here, back at you with another video review. Um, this is a special video for my good friend, oh, Mr. Joker. Um, he asked, uh, we were talking, and I told him uh, I got this figure, the DC Direct Batman. And, uh, he, well, actually saw it in my background, and he thought it was a Hot Toys. I told him it was a DC Direct. I asked him if he wanted a video on it, and he said yeah. So, uh, oh, Mr. Joker, this for you. Um, he's got a, let's start off with the packaging. It's got a nice Dark Knight sign right there. Nice picture of Batman right here. It says Batman 1, 6, one six scale Lux Collector figure, DC Direct. Top's got a wonderful picture of the Dark Knight right there. Side's got the Dark Knight Batman, again, the Deluxe Collector figure. Same on the other side. And when we t turn it around, it's got a nice picture of Batman. Bit of read-up about him on what he comes with. And the uh, other figures within the line. We got Batman Begins Batman, Superman, Two-Face, and all the cool characters. We have a Velcro packaging. When we open it up, well, we have a nice picture of Batman right there, and we have a little bit about the movie. It says DC Direct right there. I like that little Dark Knight emblem at the bottom logo. It's got two, the two accessories I kept in the box were the two batarangs and the certificate of authenticity. So um, let's close it up. Here's the Batman. So as you can see, <clears throat> very ni nice uh, likeness to Christian Bale. Really looks like him. I will say though, this is not the best Batman figure. Um, if you're a guy that likes to recreate the scenes in the movies like myself, you're going to be disappointed with this figure. His arms do not go up because they are hindered by the shoulder pad. You heard me. They don't go up. They're supposed to, but they don't go up. Um, so you're not really going to have get a lot of movement out of him. So if you're going to get him for that reason, go with the Hot Toys one. Um, now, for I'm going to go into the accessories before I get into the further detail. i move him to the side. Let's get down here. Now, one accessory, accessory, or accessory that I cannot show you guys, and I'm sorry, old Mr. Joker, is the Magnetic Mangler. Um, that accessory, if anyone doesn't know who that, what that is, he, that's what he uses at the, when he first appears at the start of the Dark Knight movie, when he uh, jumps, uh, tries to jump onto Scarecrow's van. Uh, it's somewhere in my house, but I can't find it at the moment, but I will eventually find it. So sorry, I, I can't show that accessory. But, uh, he's got the grapple gun. Very nicely detailed. He can hold it, but, um, I'll, I'll get into that later. Comes with a, sorry, I have this attached to his belt here. He's got the cell phone iPod. <laughs> Looks like an iPod to me. It's pretty cool. Um, um, he also comes with two interchangeable hands. Uh, well, he actually one pair of interchangeable hands. The others are fists. This is a bendable hands, actually, so you can go like this. You can let me just bend it. I'm gonna shoot you, man. I'm gonna shoot you with my fake gun. <laughs> Um, so, yeah. Uh, this is what you use to hold the grapple gun and everything. I'm trying to get it in his hand. There we go. That's what you use to make him... Ow, he's not holding it, but... The idea is you bend his hands and he'll hold the grapple gun like that. Um, he comes with... Uh, well, I'll show this. This is the hand I have it put, uh, in there for a special reason. Because that's the hand I use to let him hold the batarangs. I, uh, I, I took a small batarang out for you. And he's got another one that is bigger. And I'll get both of them side by side now so you can have a look at the size difference. 
As you can see, there's a noticeable size difference between the two. So, very cool. And I have this hand bent in a position where he can, uh, hold on. Work, um, work with me here, guys. Um, there you go. Nope, almost got it. There you go. Where you can, like, oh boy. There, where you can hold the battering. He holds it on better occasions. <laughs> and he also comes with the normal extendable DC direct posing stand. Let me get my other foot on the, like, let's see. It's extendable. It's got a very nice. I don't know if you guys can see that. Sorry about the lighting, but it says the Dark Knight. Here's Batman. Let me get him back on a stand. Like again, the sculpt is very nice. Uh, sculpt. His head can turn, and it you can get like. I'm Batman. The suit is a uh, soft plastic rubber type. Utility belt's all loose, so it's not glued to him, so probably could be taken off. It's got all the um, gadgets and bombs and such. What I like about the suit is, it's a suit, but he's even got this rubber, uh, not rubber, uh, cloth, uh, spandex, latex, whatever you want to call it in the back. Um, um, his cape is the wiry type. So you can have it in a dramatic pose, I guess that's what they're giving you. I do not like it. I don't know. I just doesn't do a lot for me. One uh, thing that it has, though, you can, like, put it over a so shoulder like that and show off more of his suit. But I, but about 90% of the time, I just keep it like that. Now, his hands come off. You want to know how easy they are to remove? Yeah, I know. His entire arm guard comes off. These are very sharp, too. So you just attach that back. Actually, it doesn't really work. It's just basically the whole entire gauntlet that's holding it. Um, that's basically all I can say for the figure. It's very nice. Let's get a back shot of him. Not really much to see. It's very nice. So, um, yeah. Yeah, that's about it. Um, not really a lot to say about it. I Do I recommend it? Yes, I recommend this figure. Um, it's a good figure if you're a Batman fan. But I would say it's more in the director's, uh, director's, what the hell, um, collector's point of view. It's not, uh, really a... You can't really recreate too many scenes with him. But all in all, he gets a decent 7 out of 10 for me. Great figure. Um, you can get some dramatic poses out of him. I must say, the cowl really resembles the cowl from the Dark Knight movie. Let's get a side, side shot of him. Oh, and by the way, I... Um, I uh, changed my Harvey Dent figure. Yeah, I mean my Two-Face. He's got the Harvey Dent head on. No. I think the Aaron Heckard. I, I, I sculpt is very nice. I, um, I, for, I'd get, I'm, I want the Hot Toys figure badly, so. Um, if you want to get one, if you have a choice between this and Hot Toys, or... Well, Hot Toys. I was thinking Takara, but Takara was the Batman Begins. I slightly prefer the Batman Begins um, suit more than I prefer the Dark Knight suit, but that's just my opinion, so you don't have to listen. <laughs> so, uh, I hope you enjoyed this review, guys. G Soto 98 here. Hope you enjoyed, guys. Signing off. I'm Batman.